is an editorial by WCVB Channel 5 President and General Manager, Bill Fine. Boston's Public Improvement Commission finds itself squarely in the middle of a no-win situation. The commission will soon decide the fate of Yaki Way. This is no simple matter, with far-reaching consequences that extend beyond whether or not to accept Red Sox owner John Henry's request that Yaki Way change back to its original name, Jersey Street. The Red Sox argue that such a move signals that the ball club and the city is moving past an era of racial discrimination, in part associated with the late Tom Yaki's ownership of the club. Supporters of the Yaki Foundation fight the name change, pointing to a more charitable legacy, noting it will cast an unfair shadow on the foundation's good works and negatively impact its significant role in supporting Boston's philanthropic community. It is admittedly a complex and emotionally charged discussion that runs deep and wide. Boston and communities around the country are attempting to come to terms with this nation's centuries-old struggle with racial equality and grapple with setting a litmus test for removing names of other historic figures with questionable records on race. While cities in the South argue and demonstrate over the removal of Confederate statues, the name Yaki Way has become a similar lightning rod in Boston. Can a name change or a statue's removal have lasting impact, or will it end up as a more symbolic gesture? Will renaming Yaki Way change the gap in wages that prohibits the ability of many fans to buy a ticket to the game or open doors to management in the front office and C-suites for people of color? Probably not. Actions will speak louder than name changes. The debate over Yaki Way's character will continue regardless of the commission's decision. So will the debate over future naming rights and statues, although perhaps guided in the future by the commission's decision in this highly publicized debate. Ultimately, however, systemic change is much more effective than mere symbolism.